In this video we're going to look at how to quantify zirconium oxide and the reason this is interesting is because there are a number of photoemission lines that are available for zirconium to quantify against an oxygen peak. And the simplest way to create regions is on the periodic table property page and if we simply select zirconium and oxygen and then press the button that says create regions then a pair of regions are selected and the reason that the zirconium 3p doublet is selected is because in this instance the relative sensitivity factor in terms of a photo ionization cross-section is the largest out of the possible ones it's 7.78 we have for the 3d is 7.04 so the criterion by which the zirconium 3p was selected was simply based on the relative sensitivity factor and the region that was created is based on a peak found within the region of the maximum that is associated with the zirconium 3p now in this instance because the peak for the one halves and the three halves are sufficiently well resolved that a peak has been found that is simply the zirconium 3p three halves and so to obtain a proper quantification the region needs to be adjusted and in this case we need to include both parts of this doublet peak in order to obtain a quantification that looks plausible for zirconium oxide where there are two oxygen to each zirconium atom there may be reasons why some of these other zirconium peaks would be chosen in preference to the zirconium 3p for example here we have the zirconium 3d and it's a doublet but the resolution with which these data are measured means that there's a single peak so in some ways this would be more in line with the oxygen peak which again had a a single peak effectively that could be identified using a quantification region and rather than adopting the convention of using the largest relative sensitivity factor we can override this behavior by using a file that is within the CASA XPS directory to specify that we would like to use a different peak from zirconium 3p when we do automatic quantification and the file is called CASA XPS underscore quant.lib it has the same format as a, a CASA XPS library but it simply contains entries that are in that format but these can be added to change the behavior of how the create region button behaves so for example I could add a, another entry and make this entry zirconium and specify that I would like to use 3d and when I save this file and then restart CASA XPS so that both the element library and this configuration file are read then subsequently any time I use the create regions button then the zirconium 3d will be used to quantify rather than the zirconium 3p if I invoke a new version of CASA XPS and open the same data file then perform the same process select the oxygen and the zirconium and then press the create regions button since I've modified the configuration file the peak that has been selected for zirconium is now the zirconium 3d as you can see here so this is an example of how the configuration files in CASA XPS can be used to modify the behavior in quantifying data